I took this train just to enjoy the delicious food. I'll be also sharing my Via Rail business class experience from start to finish. Starting my journey from London, Ontario, I'm heading to Union Station, Toronto. London Via Rail Station is close to the downtown, so here is London downtown. I'm going to park my car. Getting into the huge outdoor station parking lot, so the parking rates are displayed. I'm going to pick 24 hours, that's going to be $16. There's a payment kiosk at the entrance. I'm gonna pay over here or we can pay using our phone. Going into the London Via Rail Station. I'm traveling in July 2022, so mask is required inside the station and also on the train. Here's how the inside of London Via Rail Station looks like. I'll be traveling business class, so before entering the business lounge, we need to check in at the ticket counter. Entering the business lounge at London Via Rail Station, so let's explore the business lounge. Here's the business lounge. It's a beautiful clean space with lots of comfortable seatings. There is free Wi-Fi access, charging stations. They also provide free non-alcoholic beverages. You guessed it right. I'm gonna get my coffee. Need that caffeine fix to activate my brain. So there's a nice coffee machine. So I'm gonna get my cup. And if you're a tea lover, there are a few varieties of teas as as well and I'm gonna get a latte it's boarding time business class travelers have priority boarding so I'm gonna head towards the platform so here is the economy lounge so I'm gonna get out of this door so that will take me to the platform it's train number 70 and the train has arrived Boarding car number one. Here is the inside of Via Rail business class. This is going to be my seat 9A. It's a window seating and this is also going to be a forward facing seat. Business class has comfortable and spacious seatings, window seatings and aisle seatings. Half of them are forward facing and the other half are backward facing. The seats have hand dressed so it will be kept in the upward position so bend it down so we can rest our hands and it will be found on both the sides of the seat. And it's recliner seating so just recline, sit back and relax. There is a footrest in front of our seat, so it's a bit hard to figure it out. It will be folded, so just extend it and rest your foot. So this is great for a long journey. Here's the tray to keep your food, drinks, even you can keep your laptop and phone on this tray. Here is the power outlet under the seat. So each pair of seats has two outlets, one for each passenger. Between the two seats, there is additional space where you can keep your water bottle, coffee mugs, phones and even a small bag. All the windows have drapes, so if you need some shade, just close the drapes and relax. As we walk towards the end of the business class car, there is a place to hang our jackets and coats. So this is great and we will use this place when we travel in winter. In business class, there is free Wi-Fi access. So go to your settings and pick the network via underscore Wi-Fi underscore video. So you will be taken to the Via Rail website and from there you can browse. Above the seatings, there are cabins for your luggage. So these are pretty spacious uh, cabins. And if you have large luggages or bags, um, there are additional space. As you enter the train, you will find the space and you can keep your large bags and luggages. 
On my way back, my seat was close to the emergency exit, so the VR rail attendant will tell us how to use this hammer in case of emergency. After that, they will put the sticker on top. This shows they have uh, talked to us regarding the emergency exit. Here is the bathroom in VR rail business class. It's a pretty clean bathroom, well lit bathroom. There is also a coat hook. Is the spacious wash basin and on both the sides of the wash basin there are space to keep your toiletries and uh, there are uh, handles that you can hold on to. It's very bright and good lighting in the bathroom. This train comes from Windsor, Ontario so there's only 10 minutes uh, stop at London station so the train has started to move. So right now the outside view is uh, London downtown. Here is the train route. There will be five stops between London and Toronto Union Station. So the stops are Ingersoll, Woodstock, Brantford, Aldershot near Burlington and Oakville. After we have settled in, in just 10 minutes, a VIA rail conductor will come to check and scan the ticket or boarding pass. So have that ready. We can show the barcode on our phone or we can add the ticket to our Apple wallet if you have an Apple watch. So this is a very cool feature. We can just show the barcode on our watch. So here is going to be our first stop at Ingersoll. Ingersoll station, I can't Ingersoll. We are only 10 minutes away from Woodstock station. So as we are nearing Woodstock, they have started serving hot beverages like coffee, tea, even juices are available. So this service is only available in business class. Since I already got coffee at the London station business lounge, I just got uh, orange juice and they are serving hot coffee for my hubs. I'm taking the morning train so it's breakfast time. They are going to serve hot breakfast on the train. How exciting! There are two breakfast options. One with egg, omelette and fresh fruits and the second one with oats, yogurt and fruits and both of them come with croissants. I got the hot egg breakfast. It came with omelette, chicken sausage, baked potatoes, mushrooms and tomato. And here is the buttery flaky croissant. So yum! And I'm really enjoying this hot breakfast. Uh, so there is something special about uh, enjoying food on the train. Oats yogurt breakfast also came with a hard boiled egg and cheese. So my hubs is enjoying it. Uh, so he's getting the protein intake for the morning. Next, I'm going to share the hot dinner on the train. So coming back from Toronto Union Station, I took 7.40 p.m. train. So hot and delicious dinner was served on the train. They also served alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. I got ginger ale. It also came with a snack. So they also gave us hand sanitizing wipe. Just before dinner, they'll also provide us with a hot towel to clean our hands. There are three dinner options and I picked this chicken tikka masala with butter chicken sauce, basmati rice and okra. It also came with um, potato salad, a salmon and there is also a dessert. Looks delicious and the aroma of basmati rice and butter chicken. It's so incredible. I cannot wait. I'm going to dig in. Bon appetit. Here's what my hubs picked. It's Korean style beef bulgogi. This is Korean style thin beef slices marinated and grilled on a barbecue along with rice, tomatoes and spinach. So here's the potato salad with salmon and yes we have bread and also dessert. Perfect timing. It started to rain. I'm enjoying the hot delicious food, the rain and the beautiful train journey. And it's dessert time. So for dessert, I'm having apple crumble. Sweet caramelized apple filling and crumbly topping. This simple comforting dessert is perfect to enjoy while on the train. So delicious. We are starting to see all the GOAT trains. So this is the sign we are nearing the Union Station.
Here are the amazing skyscrapers near Union Station. We have arrived Union Station. I'm going to exit the train. And here is the Union Station platform. From the platform, we have to take the escalator down to get to the Union Station. Here is the arrival sign, so I'm going to the Union Station. I'm going to give you guys a detailed tour of the majestic Union Station. Here is the lounge area, so I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to keep walking and get to the Union Station lobby. Let's keep walking and this will lead to the main lobby of the Union Station. So look at this beautiful architecture. So whenever I come here, I just enjoy this building and the fabulous architecture. So guys, let me present to you the phenomenal Union Station. Located at the heart of downtown Toronto, Union Station is the major intercity transportation hub of the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area. This station sees over 200,000 travelers a day. Union Station is the busiest passenger transportation facility in Canada. It has stunning architecture and is a historic landmark of Toronto. Here is the ticket counter at the Union Station. All the departure trains will be displayed on the screen and we can also see the train status, a time and the gate number. One of the highlights about this station is its location. It is located at a significant point where you have access to many of the essential sites of the city. It is located between Bay and York streets where the entertainment location of the town begins. All the places are interconnected and we can access from the Union Station. Here are the stairs to the subway and this will lead to the path. The path is an underground pedestrian walkway with restaurants, shops, services and entertainment. It's a whole nother city under the streets of Toronto. I'll share the detailed video of the Toronto path in my next video. Here is the main entrance of Union Station. It faces north towards downtown Toronto. So I'm going to get out of Union Station. So as soon as we get out of this door, the building that's right across Union Station is the Fairmont Royal York Hotel. We are on Front Street right now and yes, we'll get a beautiful view of the CN Tower, the tallest building in Canada. Here is the outside view of the Union Station. If you have the TD Visa Infinite Credit Card, you can access this TD Lounge. You don't have to have a train ticket to use this lounge. You only have to show your TD Visa Infinite Credit Card. Here is the lounge with plenty of seating. There is Wi-Fi access um, and there are also many charging stations. I also have to charge my phone. And here is the complimentary self-serve snacks and drinks. There is a really nice uh, coffee machine. So if you want to grab a coffee or tea, you can do that as well. Next, I'm going to show you guys the Via Rail Business Lounge. So from the main lobby at the Union Station, you will see the sign for Business Lounge. Follow that and here is the entrance to the Business Lounge.
Before we take a seat, we have to check in at the reception desk and here is the reception desk. Uh, so I'm going to check in. So have your tickets ready. Here is the business lounge. It's modern looking with different kind of seatings. They have couches, recliners, high chairs and tables. You can choose your favorite seating and just enjoy. Business Lounge also offers complimentary hot and cold beverages. So it's 5.40 p.m. so it's time for coffee. In this section, I'll cover how to book the ticket, ticket fares, how to select meal preference and class comparison. Open the Via Rail website, it's viarail.ca. I'm going to book the ticket. So origin, I'm going to select a London, Ontario destination union station. So let's select departure return dates, number of passengers. And you can also put discount code um, if you work for a corporate and if you're going on a business trip, you can get the discount code from your company and you can add that here or rail pass number. Always select show fares with taxes included and let's search. You will land on this page. So here's where you can see the train number, departure, arrival time duration and the different classes and the fare so on via rail there are escape economy economy plus business business plus economy plus and business plus you will get fully refundable tickets I'm going to select business at 740 in the morning and coming back 1945 that's 745 business is um, $132 and it shows only four seats are available and click on continue and here's where we can review our itinerary fare and baggage allowance. So the total fare price for one person comes to $246.34 so this is for business class. Here are the refunds and exchanges conditions so read through everything when you book the ticket. And the baggage allowance so one carry-on baggage and two large items uh, maximum 23 kilogram overweight items over 23 kilograms not permitted on board so read through everything when you book the ticket and uh, all these conditions are different for different classes business class and business plus offers meal services on train and you can actually select your meal preference on your profile so go to your profile click on edit your profile you will land on this page so under passenger preferences close to your name you will find edit click on that and here you can see the travel preferences so these are the special meal request so there are a variety of meal preferences you can select the one that you would like and you can also select your seat preference and click save so the special meal request and seat preference will be saved on your profile. So if you don't have a special meal request, uh, you don't have to select anything. You can skip this. If you have booked the ticket as a guest, you have to call via rail to make your special meal request and it has to be 48 hours in advance booking. To get details about the different classes and the services offered, click on plan on Via Rail website and go to compare our classes. So this is below plan your trip. So here's where you will get the full details about fares and conditions and all the services for different classes. Escape economy and economy plus uh, there is no meal services on train. However, you can buy meals. If you're in Canada at least once in your lifetime, you need to experience traveling in via rail. That's a wrap guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more exciting travel videos. Until then, explore the world. Stay happy, take care and bye.